Hello, I'm Mr. Gleason, and I'm here to go through a, a short experiment on uh, how to determine the relationship in between the volume of a pyramid and the volume of a prism. A pyramid is a three-dimensional figure that has a base, and all these sides go up to a single point. A prism is a three-dimensional figure where the shape of the base carries all the way through the top of the figure. In a moment here, I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, fill up a couple small pyramids and prisms with a, a colored dye. Uh, the pyramid and the prism both have the same base and the same height. And we're going to see how many times it takes to fill up the pyramid, uh, and then we're going to dump it into the prism, and we're going to see how many times that takes. So how many uh, times of the pyramid volume equals the prism volume. Okay, as we talked earlier, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the relationship in between a pyramid and a prism with equal heights and equal bases. As you can see in the picture here, we have a uh, square pyramid and a square uh, prism. The two, both the prism and the pyramid, both have equal height, and we're going to show that one third relationship between the two. What I'm going to do to start this is I'm going to fill the pyramid three times with uh, blue colored water and I'm going to fill up the square prism. So first we're going to fill the pyramid to the top. There's one. We're going to pour it into our prism. going to fill it up two more times. As you look at the prism you'll notice it is approximately one-third of the way filled. Once we fill it up with this one it should be approximately two-thirds of the way filled. Still some in there. All right. And one last time. And you will notice that the square prism is filled to the top. So once again, that was three of the square pyramids. Let's try it again with a couple other shapes. Next, we'll try it with uh, a triangular pyramid and a triangular prism. Once again, you'll notice that the triangular pyramid and the triangular uh, prism are the same height. So the one, they both have triangular bases. Okay. And we're going to fill up the smaller pyramid. And we're going to fill the prism. Okay. It should take exactly three times. Fill up the pyramid once, pour it into the prism, fill up the pyramid a second time, 
backward into the prism. Notice that the prism is approximately two thirds of the way filled at this point, and it should take one more of the pyramids to fill it all the way to the top. And now, once again, we've demonstrated with another shape that the two shapes have a one-third relationship. For this next shape, we're going to use a circular prism and cone. I have a cylinder and a cone, both of which are the same height. So if I come down again, you can see that they will both be the same height. And I have one cylinder already full with the blue colored water. So we notice that they're both the same height. Now if I zoom back up to kind of give a scenario view. This time, instead of filling the prism from the pyramid, we're going to do it in reverse. I'm going to fill the pyramid three times with the liquid from the prism. Make it a little easier to transfer liquid, I'm going to pour the cylinder into this large cup. Now that I've emptied the cylinder, I'm going to use the cup to fill the pyramid three times. Once. Twice. three times. So after our experiment we noticed that it took three times we had to fill up a pyramid three times in order to create the volume that the prism had. Okay. So what we said was that the volume of the pyramid is one-third okay, that of the volume of the prism. Okay. So if we assume that the area of the base, big B, is the same for both figures and that the height, H, is the same for both figures, we could say the volume of a pyramid is one-third big B H compared to the volume of a prism which is uh, big B times H. And once again we said that it would take three times the volume of the pyramid in order to create the volume of the prism. Thank you very much for viewing this experiment.